We'll walk around the compound. We're gonna see some cats. We'll see some peeps and hear some squeaks. So sit back and relax. It's 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 gonna like Popeye. Oh no, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like Popeye's snuffles. You don't like Popeye's snuffles. Princess. Regular snuffles. I'm sorry. Oh goodness gracious. Maybe it was my hand movements. Maybe it wasn't the Popeye's snuffles. Maybe it was just my hand movements. I uh strung strung something finish because I eat my spinach. Maybe she just doesn't like spinach. You gotta think that. Spinach consumption amongst uh, the American populace, particularly uh, males aged nine to 13 um, was increased between the years of like 1925 and 1942. <laughs> now, I, there's a strange correlation between spinach consumption in that particular demographic. No one knows why. I think I'll add inside. I didn't want to Val! Val. Hi, bud. How are you? Oh, you're getting... Oh! Oh, what a treat! Oh! Would you like some spinach? Hi! <laughs> I wouldn't even want to know what happened. If you give a tiger spinach, because you see what it did to a to a man, a man with Chernobylish forearms, but a man nonetheless. <laughs> and he was like, you'd give Popeye spinach, and he could beat up like a dozen tigers. What would happen if you gave a tiger spinach? Hmm? Do you even want to think of the consequences of such an action? Can you even comprehend? <laughs> they would basically they, they would basically turn into Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> they would just start glowing blue, you know, and just vaporizing people. <laughs> You know, the uh, Popeye live-action movie from the 80s. Um, it was critically panned. I guess it was a bomb. It didn't do well in the box office. But it holds a special place in my heart. I, like, I just, I loved that. I loved it. Loved that movie. When, like, like, it was one of the first movies I think I remember kind of... One of the first movies I remember really liking when I was, like, four or five years old. Um, and I lived, we lived out in the country, so before we moved into town, I'm talking about back in Wisconsin, Prairie du Chien, Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, but we used to live outside of town, up on the hill, there he is, there's that sweetie, look at him, look at him. Look at that guy. He's great. Oh. Is he waking up? I don't know. Yes, he is. I gotta go. Hello, chickens. It's chickens. But uh, we, uh, before I started kindergarten, 
we lived at this uh, at this country house up on the hills. The town I grew up in, Prairie du Champ, French. So it was settled uh, by uh, French fur trappers. After you know, it was it was a meeting grounds for for native peoples for various different tribes. I think like four to six different tribes which I would actually meet on the plains of uh, Prairie du Champ next to the Mississippi River. So yeah, it's actually, this is a good analogy. So you got Bluff over here. This is Iowa. We don't like to think about that or speak of it. Blech. And then you got Wisconsin ah, over here, Bluff. And then there's the River Valley in between, in between. That's where I grew up. And then there was like this this field, this plain. Because most of the time it's just like basically the river and then bluffs on the side. But then there was actually a good patch of land. And then they that's where Prairie du Chien. <laughs> well, over the time it turned into Prairie du Chien. Prairie du Chien. I walked around. I didn't even realize that uh, Nadal was in his house. His house. Not gonna lie, I was actually getting a little bit just kind of like, where's Nadal? <laughs> uh, where's Nadal? <laughs> you walk around and it's like, okay, I don't see him, I don't see him. You just, you scan, 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 scan. This is because we just got done cleaning. That's the other thing. We just got done cleaning, so the, it means that, like, gates are open and stuff like that, and, th and then the cat's over here. So then I go over here, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, he must be in there, either inside his thing, or he's going to be behind the house. And I get all the way over there, and he's not. And I'm like, um, we may have a problem. <laughs> and then I'm walking around, and I'm like, okay, he's, he's got to be in there, he's got to be in there, he's got to be in there. And he is. <laughs> Uh, trust but verify. Anyway, back to Paris du Champ. Which has a lot of French influence. A lot of French influence in my uh, my hometown. Um, that means a lot of a lot of area, a lot of surrounding area is uh, named after French stuff, French words. Choppers would have loved it. Um, but the place that I lived, because we, yeah, anyway, we lived up on the, so the town was down here, and then you have to, like, drive out of the country and everything, about, like, 15, 20 minutes and everything, you get to the, t so people, like, a lot of farmland was at the top, top of the hill, farmland, top of the hill, and then valley, Prairie du Champ, river, Iowa, yeah. <laughs> but um we lived up on top of one of the bluffs had a house up there and the bluff itself uh it was uh, named Ducharme because again French Ducharme but of course we didn't do like you know proper French pronunciation, so we just called it Ducharme Ridge. Ah, hey, where do you live? Yeah, I live on uh, Ducharme Ridge over, and it's, we'd said it not to be silly. That's the, <laughs> it's just, it just became the way that you said it. It was completely, like, unironic. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's also, there's a, later on, in the next few centuries, there was actually quite a large uh, uh, Czech, uh, Czech immigration into that particular part of Wisconsin. So there's a lot of French and Czech, uh, and it, just all around Minnesota and Wisconsin, a lot of uh, Scandinavians, particularly Norwegian. Um, so a lot of those different kinds of things. German, of course. In that particular part of Wisconsin, the Riverlands, French and Czech. So 
you see a lot of uh, French names, a lot of Czech names. And again, it's like, there was a family, there was a family, I'm not, and I'm not making this up, there was a family, their last name was Capinas. And I, it's almost like I'm kind of like ashamed and embarrassed that I didn't even put two and two together growing up. I heard that name so many times. I never thought just like, <laughs> never once, never. It's like, oh yeah, those, those are the Capinuses. <laughs> the Capinuses from Ducharme Ridge. <laughs> So yeah, Ducharme Ridge. Ducharme Ridge. Where's Belita? We may have a situation. That turd, that little turd. She was like really sunk down in there. Couldn't see her. <sighs> There's another one. I'm not even joking. Another one where I'm just like, Ha ha, okay, she's gonna be over here. And then I got over here, I could not see her anywhere. And I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. Who's this? Is this Kel? <gasps> is this the prettiest girl? Is this the prettiest girl ever in the world? Yeah, it is. <gasps> is this the prettiest girl? That's the prettiest girl. You're the prettiest girl. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty girl. Yes, you are. Prettiest girl. Whoever did live. And then some people might be like, I have a girl cat and she's very pretty. Not as pretty as girl. Sorry. I did the math. Doesn't check out. Anyway. Do charm. Which begs the question, what what's going on? What are you doing with your arm where that's getting... And now, is it like, is it a pre-application sort of situation? Or is it just the result of whatever is happening? We talk in below the elbow, above. What's at, what is going on? Let's, let's do stuff like that. So it makes sense. It's not completely like out of the realm. You know. Like if you work with a lot of livestock, it's, yeah, there's a lot of different kind of things. Oh, that just makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> Change the topic. Used to be an old button factory. Back in my hometown. And they would make buttons out of uh, clamshells. And you would find. Joe! Yeah, it's a little bit low. You're a little bit low, Joe. Low level. He had, and he just, he had to fly right over. Joe, we get it. You're into aviation. It's stock car racing. And making pizzas. And tigers. Save some cool for the rest of us. Alright? Oh, and it's been, de it's been declared and decreed that Joe is cool. Just so everyone is tracking. That is, uh, that is the change. We, there was an official announcement. Joe is cool. <gasps> but yeah, I used to, uh, used to spend a lot of time down by the river. Was a regular old river rat, as they call it. But spent a lot of time down by the river. <laughs> down, down, down by the river. But yeah, hung out down by the river, on the river, fished on the river. Flat bottoms, pontoons, all that stuff. I love it. There was I I love, I really do love 
spending time on that river. Munch, don't jump that way. Munchie, you dummy. What are you doing? Why? Oh my gosh. What? There's different ways to jump down. There's different ways to jump down. You don't go the front way. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go the dinosaur way. It's up the. Uh. I saw your face plant too. What's he doing? Hey. 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 Hi, Rasa. Hi, baby. But yeah, and I would go down and. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. It's because of my douche arm. <laughs> Just saying, you go clean. Go wash up and come back. You talk to me. Okay. <laughs> but I used to spend a lot of time down by the river, and then you'd find clamshells, and they would have, like, they'd have uh, holes in them, buttonholes. But, like, you have to realize the button factory was in operation in, like, the late 1800s. So that was always kind of cool. That, like, about a like hundred... You might find a clamshell that had holes punched in it, you know, from a hundred years ago. And it's like, that's kind of neat. Anyway. <gasps> Straps. I don't want to stay past my well. I don't want to overstay my welcome. In the cast space. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Key, 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 cattle corn. You're more just cattle, less corn right now. <laughs> I think they're trying to, I think Solano's the last one trying to get Solano locked up. He, for some reason, just decided like there's a puddle in my lockdown. And I have a bone that I don't want to give up. There's no meat on it. He's like, I never said anything about meat. I just want the bone. And not to mention, there is a puddle. I'm like, <sighs> fine. So yeah, they're trying to get him locked up. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information you keep them tigers fed big shout out to my extra fancy patreons patrons patrons it's on patreon but they're called patrons and we'll see you next time all right bye bye monkeys butter toast munchie saw a ghost Mika weighs the most.